police just drove by. I'm scared because I'm not in a proper parking spot. Let me just move. For this YouTube video, I will be telling you every single reason why I don't trust men. And every single reason why you shouldn't trust men either and be paranoid as fuck anytime you talk to a man, okay? Because I'm sorry to say, men are liars. You're lying. Just the facts. One of the main things guys lie about is their feelings about you. So they can be over here telling you that they like you, but deep in their chest, they despise you. They will despise you, but they will be talking all this crap saying, baby, I love you. Baby this, baby that. Batty, shorty, come here. Let's link, I miss you. Kissy face, kissy face, kissy face. But the whole time in their brains, they're just thinking about how to fuck you. Come and get it, ladies. That is literally it. I'm so tired of it because it's like, there are so many women out here. There's so many of us women out here that are trying to look for a genuine connection and all guys do is lie. Selfish, unprincipled liar. And I'm so sick and tired of it. So here are some manipulation tactics that guys use that low key, like if we're being honest, they work on us and they know that it works on us. That's why they keep doing it. So women, we need to get smarter. We need to level up. We need to stop falling for this bullshit. Okay. So first things first, when they tell you it is what it is. And then if you try to argue with it, for some reason now you're the crazy one. Women, the second the second your man tries to tell you, Oh, I'm not gonna change, it just is what it is. Oh, I'm not gonna message you, it's just is what it is. Like, oh, I'm busy, you know, it's just is what it is. No, it's not. It's what you're trying to make it be. And you're trying to make it be this weird vibe where I'm guessing what you're, like, what you want, like, how you feel about me. No. Enough. The second a dude texts you, it is what it is hit them with a block block them get them the fuck out of your life because i'm telling you if they say it is what it is you can just respond with okay this is what it is and block them that's it that's it like no no more conversations no more trying to figure this crap out nah they told you what it is and it is what it is okay so hit up with that block and then move on because i swear to god 20 other dudes trying to slide into your dms because you're a baddie like i know there's bare dudes trying to get with you so why the fuck are you telling them no giving this weirdo all the power over you like fuck all the way off and then another thing that guys do to manipulate us is when they give us standards that they can't even follow themselves how dare you so for example i had one dude tell me oh you're not allowed to be friends with guys that same night that same night i pulled up to this dude's place he was on the phone with a girl not his mom not his sister not his auntie not his girl best friend How dare you? at the time i didn't care if people have like if men have female friends i didn't care but now everything has changed everything has changed now how i see how men can move you can't trust no one so the fact that that dude told me i couldn't have guy friends but was on the phone with his female friend that same night sir i don't care who you're friends with but you can't put standards on me that you're not even gonna follow like i didn't even have a problem with anyone being friends with anyone until you made it a problem with me now i have a problem now if i can be friends with males which i even wasn't at the time because every dude that i tried to be friends with ends up thinking that that's like an in to try to get in my pants and it's not like i'm genuinely just trying to be your friend because i like your energy i like your vibe but that's it like i don't like anything else like that's 
like, oh. So for a long period of time, I had to cut out male friends because I generally thought like it was impossible. But now I realize like it is possible. I make it very, very clear. Like I am basically asexual at this point. Like I do not want to do shit with no one, no one. Everyone is weird. Everyone is moves weird. Like no. So the second they give you a standard, not even just like this friendship thing like if they say oh why do you spend money on nails all the time why do you spend money on makeup why do you spend money on this but then they're spending money on like video games weed vapes like you can't complain about my money spending if your money spending is just as shit just that shit at least mine has a purpose like at least mine is making me look good and feel good and confident i don't know what the fuck yours is doing for you like but it is what it is <laughs> um so yeah so the second a dude st tries to give you standards and they can't even follow the standards that they're trying to put on you literally look them in the eyes and be like follow this yourself before you even make a comment about me like literally t say that to them be like okay so um i'm not allowed to be friends with any guys so then why the fuck are you following like over 200 females on instagram with their booties out like tell me how that makes any sense like t it doesn't and they know it doesn't they just want you to be stupid like they just want you to be like okay like i like you okay okay you're my man okay okay it's okay i'll cut out anyone i'll stop doing everything for you because i love you nah bitch love yourself love yourself more because that dude does not give a shit about you the only thing he loves is how entertaining it is to ruin your life okay now those are two things out of the way third thing when a dude wants to go through your phone but the second the second you take a glance at theirs it's a fight it's a fight it's a problem all of a sudden that's us i had a dude one time he would grab my phone to get directions or grab my phone to watch his stupid videos like sir do you not have your own like mobile device like are you dumb why are you taking my shit so then when i playfully put his shit on the table so he could get the fuck out of bed dude was pissed dude was mad all of a sudden it's a big issue that i touched his phone are you dumb like are you genuinely dumb do you have two brain cells because the only like holy fuck like guys are so stupid bitches stop being stupid stop being stupid the reason why he didn't even want me touching his phone was because there was female notifications popping up on it you know and i was a dumb bitch at the time so i was like okay yeah, i don't care if he has female friends whatever whatever because also i don't even think i gave that many shits to be honest because like i don't know like i i can't even like get excited about like people or whatever because everyone's a fucking disappointment at this point you don't have a heart so for me i just don't take shit any shit seriously i would see like notifications on his phone here and there and like that's another thing it's like sir i already know there's bitches on your phone so i don't even know why you're like trying to be extra right now you're acting like you have something that i even want to find like sir i don't give a shit if you want to talk to other females talk to other females like we're not even dating right now like it's so weird and another thing that guys do to manipulate you you're on a date and this guy is just an amazing listener like he loves to listen like oh my god tell me all about your life baby girl like that's how he be acting but guess what when you go home at the end of that date you're gonna realize you don't know shit about that dude they know everything about you you don't know one single fact about them and it's because they were such a good 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 oh ah, the perfect listener um last time i checked it's not a therapy session a date is a date you're supposed to communicate you're supposed to get to know each other 
You're not just supposed to spew your life onto them and get nothing in return. Like, those guys will manipulate the fuck out of you because now they know so much about you where you know nothing about them. So they'll use that to their advantage. You say you like something, oh, they're gonna shower you with that now because you said that you liked it. But guess what? A lot of these dudes that will like shower and bomb you with everything you told them that they liked will take it back just as fast. They will stop doing that crap. I get a guy can't show affection for longer than a month these days. Like, after 30 days, it's like literally they clock out. Okay, I'm retiring now. I'm not gonna try because I tried already. Like, she's obsessed with me now. And that's not okay. That's not right. That's not healthy. Instead of like bombing a girl, like love bombing a girl with everything she told you that she liked for even like if they can keep it up for three months, like if they can do everything that you've ever like dreamed of for three months the second they stop doing that bro they manipulated the fuck out of you because that's not who they are they just wanted you to like them come with me and we'll speak of love like if you were genuine and honest and you only did this shit like here and there you know then that's fine or if you're genuinely the type of guy that loves to spoil his girl then you have to continue to spoil them like you can't just start off one way and then switch up like once they say yeah i'll be your girl like that's so manipulative and the second you see your man does that like the second like you're like okay yeah we're official now or we're exclusive or yeah i really do like you the second they switch after you say that be like, April Fool's bitch, I don't like you, and now I'm dipping, okay? Because that is the most evil bullshit ever. I had one guy, he didn't really buy shit for me, um, but he would do a lot of the physical affection stuff that I liked. And he did it good for like a good three weeks. But guess what? After the three weeks, all of a sudden, dude couldn't even touch me dude started wiping away my kisses dude like literally went out of his way to sleep on the opposite side of the bed so it ruins all this affection you were showing literally a day ago for three weeks straight now all of a sudden you're repulsed by me please guys guys i'm even telling you sometimes some guys genuinely just get too excited and they jump like fucking dick first into everything without thinking like literally if you're still not sure about a girl do not show her like your husband boyfriend qualities because you're just gonna manipulate her into thinking that you're her husband now or her boyfriend but if you don't know whether or not you like that girl don't do that shit because you don't know that you like her. I promise you girls, literally guys, get off on fucking up your peace. Like if you are calm and peaceful and you're good in life, you know, you're making your money, you're going out with your girls, a guy will come in and fuck it all up. Fuck everything up. Everything was going perfectly. And now you do this not be with a guy that doesn't have his life somewhat together don't be with a guy that doesn't have hobbies don't be with a guy that doesn't have a at least a good like few friends don't be with a guy that doesn't have like drive determination like a goal you know like don't be with a guy that is still trying to figure shit out because guess what he's gonna try to figure shit out with you and you don't want a guy that's just trying to figure shit out you want a guy that's gonna be there correct so get a guy that's already like halfway there in life like get a guy that's at least got a plan written out you know so then you can see yourself in whatever plan this dude has don't be with a guy that's still trying to work it out or um doesn't know what they want yet because guess what they're not gonna know what they want with you okay so don't waste your time don't waste your time trying to figure their shit out don't waste your time trying to like help them get a job or help pick their college program don't waste your time doing that 
fucking crap because guess what you're not gonna be the bitch that they end up with they're just gonna leave you for someone else once they do figure out all that crap because then they're gonna figure out oh my god i actually don't want this girl because she's seen me at my worst and that's kind of embarrassing like now that i'm up here i don't want a girl that's seen me when i was down here because like, that's embarrassing i'm trying to forget about that period in, of my life because guess what you were there in that low period of their life so now you are a reminder of that low period and they will come to hate you because you remind them of that time where they were in the shit okay and even though you help them get up they're not gonna look at that and be like oh yeah she helped me get up nah they're gonna look at that and be like oh this bitch was when i was down there now i need to level up because the rest of my life is leveled up you don't have a heart now this is not all guys but it's the majority of guys okay and if you think i'm wrong please leave in the comments below but this is just my opinion from my own life experiences and the men i've seen there are good guys and this is just to help women to understand that there are some evil ass motherfuckers in this world there are some evil ass dudes i'm gonna be honest it is better to be alone than to be sitting across from a table wondering if the dude you're with is even with you mentally it's even like with you 100 percent physically too i go out on self dates like today I went out on a self date like that's why i'm all cute i dress myself up to the nines go to a fancy restaurant get myself wine fries whatever i feel like here and there like i try to do it at least once every week or other week to feel like that bitch you know and when i look around the restaurant there are a lot of couples that don't say shit to each other or on their phones look like they're in an argument there are some that look like they're madly in love people think oh you go out by yourself that's embarrassing bitch it's embarrassing to be with a dude that's actively cheating on you whether you know it or not it is embarrassing okay like it's all perception like when like you do something by yourself and people say oh that's embarrassing she's alone well 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 this has got to be a little embarrassing for you that's their perception but i it is 100% embarrassing for the people going through it and for every outsider when they look at someone getting cheated on and that person decides to stay like that is more embarrassing to me so I would rather be sitting here in my tiny ass corner table in the restaurant versus sitting across the table from a dude that's making me on the verge of tears because that has happened before a lot of guys will try to turn situations to be like this problem just so you can feel bad and start apologizing and feel like you owe them now because you were a bitch or you were rude or you were something like they will turn the smallest question innocent comment into this big thing so now you it feels like you owe them a favor it feels like now you need to make it up to them with sex money buying them something a date usually sex though usually they'll be like oh my god you hurt my feelings oh can you like suck my dick real good that's usually what it is okay and like it's different if their feelings are genuinely hurt but a lot of the times they will do it to make you feel like you owe them something and you end up doing stuff because you feel bad because your heart is kind your heart is pure and you don't want people to be having their feelings hurt so you will try to do anything to make it better and that is where it, it can become so evil because they will start gaslighting you and making you think that you're doing some weird evil shit or like turning situations into things that they're not you have to go out of your way to like give them extra sloppy toppy at night for them to smile like ew you're cute but not that cute like oh my god like and also guys that turn small situations like that and start being pussies about them get the fuck out like seriously go back to fifth grade and actually do some mental brain math on that because like you can't be turning every small thing into a big thing like and same goes for girls too like do not turn small things into big things like oh my god because girls also do it too i know this video is catered more to like how men lie but honestly everything i'm saying right now can is both ways both ways okay another thing they will lie about their exes 
every single fucking time they will lie liar it is so crazy because how the fuck is every single person you dated mentally unstable a liar crazy obsessed with you i guarantee sir if a girl is doing some crazy shit it's because she genuinely loved you and you played her okay for me like now when a guy says oh my ex was crazy max was crazy i'm thinking what the fuck did you do to make her this crazy now some girls are just crazy for whether it's ptsd from other things or just that's just who they are but a lot of girls only start acting crazy when they are pushed to the fucking limit of like love that they can give that's just being taken advantage of for me i stay away from guys that have like big dramas with their exes or whatever because i'm just like you know what you need to figure out how the fuck to treat people before i even get with you because why the fuck is this bitch like that pissed like and then it just makes me feel like now god forbid we break up you're gonna go around saying i'm the crazy ex and i've only been crazy one time in my life and that dude did so much fucking crap so that's how i know a lot of girls are just like neutral level-headed girls that get pushed to the brink of exploding because that's what happened with me and never will it ever happen again because now i know that guys be lying okay so don't let guys play you and guys stop playing women please and i think that's it like those are all the reasons why i will never trust a guy that is it for this youtube video any females watching this please leave in the comments below how a dude really tried it with you like how a dude took advantage of your like kind spirited energy okay please because i need to know i'm not the only one that has like trust issues now when it comes with men girlies let's unite a little bit so i think it's time to go Peace out. I love you guys all so much. I've got places to go. Things to destroy. Stuff to steal.